So I was going about my day, just going along, wasn't really planning on making a video, and it just hit me, like, I have to make a video, like, I have to make it right now. And so I threw together this background, I put the flowers here that my boyfriend got me, my beautiful Valentine's Day roses, and lit a candle, and got to it. I just really want to talk about something that's been on my mind a lot lately. It has a heck of a lot to do with why I haven't made a video in a while, and it all has to do with like mental gymnastics. Those mental gymnastics have to do with the difference between the things you have to do, the things you want to do, and then that weird area in the middle of things you should do. So you have your things you have to do, right? You have to get up and go to work. You have to do your basic hygiene, showering, brushing your teeth. You have to make sure your laundry is clean so that you have a clean clothes to wear to work, sleep, things you have to do to survive and prosper on some level in society. Then there's the things you want to do. Like you want to, like for me, I want to make videos. I want to do projects. I have many lined up that I want to do, but like I don't have to do them. Like I could get by without not doing, like I don't have to do my nightstand project like that I have planned. I don't have to do that. I want to because I just want to. And I want to film and edit videos. They take time. I don't have to do those things. I don't rely on them for money. I They're purely a hobby, not necessary for everyday living. So then you get into this weird area of the should do, right? They're not necessarily things you need to do, but they're not necessarily things you want to do either. So this is where we get into the area of things like diet, exercise, things like that. Okay, so those are the top two. So lately, my boyfriend and I have been making an effort to eat better and exercise. Like we're trying to support each other and help each other through this process because it's difficult. And granted, having him has made it easier. I'm more motivated, he keeps me accountable, he asks me what I've eaten at the end of the day. For some reason, the mental gymnastics around that are so difficult. Because, I mean, if you think about it, you could do the easy thing and get fast food or just buy something pre-packaged that you just heat up. To eat, right, you have to eat. But how you do it falls into the should have, into the what you should do area, right? So instead of being lazy and going to fast food and just picking up your food real quick, what you should do is take the time to get out the pots and pans and go to the grocery store and buy the ingredients and then cook a healthy meal. So that takes time, right? So then that thing that you should be doing is now infringing on the things you want to do. So part of the everyday struggle I have, right, is that you do all those things that you have to do, but instead of just doing the bare minimum, I'm gonna do things better. I'm gonna do things the way I should do them. I don't have to exercise, okay? I won't like drop, I'm not gonna like die tomorrow if I don't exercise today. I mean, maybe in the long run that would kill you <laughs> without ever exercising. It's a should thing, it's a should do. So I come home, you know, you do your 45 minute workout, then you spend 30 to 40 minutes cooking, then you eat, then you have to clean up the mess that you just made and pretty soon before you know it the day is gone right it's time to go to bed and you didn't get to do any things you want to do so hence the struggle mentally you're frustrated because you didn't get to do any things you wanted to do so therefore it makes it harder in the future to do the things you should do and like when you make those good decisions and you do the things you should do there is a certain uh lift you get from it you feel better especially if you ate right and exercise like you didn't have to do but you did it anyway you feel better i feel better i know i do like i feel more invigorated i have more energy when i eat better so i'm doing those things and it definitely helps my life but don't change the fact that every single day i have to keep that up to make it a habit but sometimes all you have time to do in a day is the needs and the shoulds and it's trying to make time to do those things that you want to do, right? So like right now I'm making this video. I wanted to do this video and I am not doing things I should do because I'm making this video. I have this internal struggle of 
I feel guilty because I'm doing something that I really don't have to do instead of doing something I should do, which is to do, like right now I should be cleaning up the living room, straightening it up, I need to vacuum. But what happens, I think, is that at some point, those wants become needs. So even though I don't have to make a video, I don't have to do my crafts and projects, part of me has an internal need to do those things, to be happy and to feel whole. So you go round and round and round, and it's so easy to get overwhelmed because you got this constant battle between need and should and want, and trying to balance those things every single day gets can be can get really out of control sometimes and overwhelm my brain to the point that I just don't do anything. Then you start to feel guilty and beat yourself up. So what's the resolution to this? What's the solution? You know, I'm, I'm asking you guys because I need advice. I think what I tell myself right now is that I just do the best I can. I do eat right and exercise and do all those things that I should do, but also give myself the slack that I need that when I do mess up, I don't beat myself up so bad to the point that I just completely give up on doing those things that I should do. And that when I do sit down and do the things that I want to do, to also not feel guilty for doing those things because doing the things you want to do from time to time can sometimes be more of a need. And taking the time to do those things that you want to do is only going to contribute to success at doing the things you should do. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Does anybody else struggle with this? Let me know down in the comments below and give me any advice you may have because I am open to it. Like, how do you find balance? Do you make schedules? How do you keep from going crazy? Because I am going crazy. Trying to, to balance all of it and balance the guilt of when I screw up. So any advice is welcome. Also, I know I have a tendency to overthink things. My boyfriend tells me this all the time. I'm sure that's what a lot of y'all are thinking is I'm crazy overthinking this, but y'all, I just can't help it. Like it's a constant battle in my head. So I guess the takeaway from this video is for myself after talking this out, which I needed to do, is that you have to make time, a little bit of time for all of it, including the things you want to do or you'll go crazy. That's what's happening to me because I've been neglecting the things that I want to do by getting caught up in the things that I should do. Hopefully, if I figure some things out, I can share them with you. Just had to like, get that off my chest. Get it out. Well, I'm gonna go and get back to things that I should be doing, but hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.